In today's video, I'm going to show you how to link a Google form in an existing spreadsheet. So let's say you have an existing spreadsheet right here and you want to link it into another existing Google form. So this is not going to tools and creating a new form. No, these are two separate files that you want to link to each other. So how do we do that? First, we go to our Google form. And as I said, so these are two existing files, a Google form and a Google sheet file. So I want to link this Google form into my already existing Google sheet file. So let's go back to our Google form and select responses right here in the middle. As you see, I already have responses. I've finished the form. I've got responses. And all I want to do now is to link it to another existing Google sheet file. I can do that by just going to link to sheets right here. And when you click on it, you will be given two choices of selecting the destination for responses, which is a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets or an existing spreadsheet. So the second option is what we are aiming to do here. Once you've selected that, click on select right here. And now it's asking you which Google Sheet file you want to link your Google form to. So just select the one that you need. Once you've found it, click on it and select insert. Now it's going to open another tab with your existing Google Sheet file with your responses already linked to your spreadsheet. So here I already have my Google Sheets, how to link a Google form in an existing spreadsheet file. And we have our responses from our Google form. So here it says, 29 because we have 28 responses including our header which is frozen right here and you can have this link to your google form as long as you're still expecting responses from it so let's say we have more incoming responses let's say uh, another person has ordered an extra small t-shirt in the quantity of 100 and if they submit our order form will be automatically updated so if you go back to your Google form, you'll see that instead of 28, now you have 29 responses. And if you go back to your Google sheet file, you'll see that our row number now is at 30 instead of 29. And we have an order of an extra small t-shirt in the quantity of a hundred. And there you have it. Now, if there are no more responses, you're already done and you want to unlink that Google sheet file to this Google form, all you have to do is go back to your Google form and select this three dotted line right here. When you do, you'll have the option to unlink your form in the third row. Once you click on it, it will tell you new responses to this form will no longer be sent to the spreadsheet, but existing data will not be deleted. So that's okay with us because we know already that we will not have new responses for this form. So we can just click on unlink. Once you do that and you go back to your Google sheet file, the responses form are still right here. But again, if there are new responses or other responses, mistaken responses in the future, they will not be updated to your Google Sheet file. And there you have it. So that's how easy it is to link a Google form in an existing spreadsheet here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.